Hello everyone, this is Tobias with Automation and Controls with Tobias and um, I'm here today to bring you the OR gate um, the OR gate um, it is part of uh, Boolean Algebra uh, I want to apply this to um, the ladder logic um if you see at the top um we have the gate number one number two we have the truth table number three we have the logic so um with that said, um, when we incorporate Boolean's algebra to Lattic logic, um, you see at number three, this is where the inputs take state and they affect the output. Um, let's go over. Um, the states okay the a and b that is the inputs y that is the output okay so we have um we have states the first state for the truth table a and b if they are both zero uh y will be zero no output if a is zero and b is high one we will have uh, a high output if um, a is high and b is zero we will have a high output um, if a and b are both high um, we will have um a high output so basically if we have um a high input in a or b we will have um a high output and if we have um a and B high we will have a high output um, there are very there are a lot of different scenarios um, for an OR gate but I thought that I would um, go through the basics of an OR gate and tell you the theory behind um, the OR gate um, the OR gate is very important when it comes to ladder logic, to understanding ladder logic. So I thought that I would um, give you the um, theory behind it. Um, in part two, I will um, demonstrate a lab that will show you... Um, what um, the logic will look like. So, um, hello everyone. This is Tobias with Automation and Controls with Tobias. Um, today, um, I'm bringing you the second part to um, the OR gate. Um, this uh, OR gate lecture. Um, this is the lab part. I am using RS Logix 500. Um, this particular one is a little bit different. I think I'm like running an emulator where I normally run it off of a live PLC, but we can still do the same things. Okay. Um, I want to start out. Um, and explain a little bit of the process okay so um, 
I started, I have input zero, input one, and over here is the motor. Um, these inputs are gonna determine the output. Um, with that said, I wanna show you some of the functions from the um, lecture earlier to show you exactly how things come into play in the OR gate. Um, Boolean's algebra plays a role in the OR gate um, in, and we're placing it into ladder logic. So um, let's start off. Um, okay, so this is input zero and I'm starting over here and this is input zero and that is um, input one and that is input one. It's, uh, we're going to start at uh, uh, zero. So um, right now, if you see the output, if you go from, um, if we had the truth table, we say that input zero, if input zero, if input zero is zero and input one is zero, you would have no output. If input zero, it has high, you have an output, as you can see the output at the side. Okay, so um, if you have input one that is high and you have input zero that is not high, you still have an output because it's uh, representing the OR gate. One, one high on one end or one high on the other end is still gonna give an output. You see that that output is activated. Okay, so um, both inputs high, um, you're gonna have um, an output. Um, you see that um, both those are high right here and you see the output itself is high and we can go to the outputs data table and when we look at that data table we see a one also and it is representing the um, instructions that have been written um that is one of my simplest ways of showing you um the or gate and boolean's algebra uh implemented into ladder logic i went off of the i went very fast i went off of the um data table i showed you everything from the data table and i showed you everything that was taking place in the logic so um basically um in an or gate what we have is um if we have a, a high input on either input we will get an output if we have both high inputs we will have an output um if we have no um high inputs we will not have an output and that is some of the simplest form of um or gate i know to uh, come about and um the purpose of a data table is because uh in uh, the real world um the data table is you want your, your best friend um because um a lot of times you want to know what's going on it's going to be or it, it is tons and tons of instructions you know i'm just going briefly into everything and not just diving in real deep just kind of um explaining everything simple as i can before i want to go any deeper but um the data table you can go there and see your instructions 
it helps out um, and it always lets you see what is actually going on in the physical world uh, where you're getting your input so that's the reason why I use the inputs with the data table because it really helped um, explain what is going on and it really helps um, if I wanted to force it I could force it I could see what's going on so using your data tables in, in the OR gate is, is helpful but that is my lecture for the OR gate and um, thank you subscribe thank you